small works. And we're a theater company that doesn't normally do this kind of thing. Normally we travel around and do very grassroots, uh, interactive performances, only about 45 minutes in length. And uh, this is a rare occasion that we are able to do ticketed performances. And we do it when we create a new work. And this has been a wonderful uh, journey for me to create uh, this new show with Sharnoosh Prasipur and Scott Hill and our wonderful group of musicians, a wonderful cast of actors and dancers. Um, and we're so glad that you can be here to celebrate it with us because we just don't get to do it that often. Um, as you know, or some of you may know, we always have a little audience participation and we're not gonna do that much today the way we do in our smaller uh, grassroots uh, traveling shows, but we couldn't just leave it out. So uh, we're going to rehearse your parts right now for a minute. Um, here our acting intern, Alois Thomas, when she holds up a sign that has an animal name on it, uh, towards the end of the show, you have a lot of time to warm up. We want you to make the sounds of the animal. So let's practice that right now. Here we go. and sheep to make butter, cheese, and yogurt that we all eat and grow strong. Brave young boys and girls who love and protect our village, weave carpet, fish the rivers and the sea to feed us so that we are not hungry. Listen. 
Have you ever in your life been alone? Have you ever thought that an old woman might be alone in this world? That an old man walks the streets alone with a cane and has no family? Have you thought of these things? Nah, I'm sure you've never thought about them. You're not alone to know what loneliness is. Even later, you won't think about old age. Old age happens to other people, huh? We always remain permanently young and healthy now. <laughs> alas, alas, experience of knowing, by then we are incapable. We gain that experience at a time that our hair turns white and our backs are bent and our teeth fall out.
Beautiful tree, whose father is God in heaven and whose mother is the beautiful and everlasting earth. Witness that I love this lady of Lady Sculpture and standing before you now, I ask her to be my wife. Sculpture, sweet silence, sweetheart, are you willing to be my wife? Oh, tree. Beautiful tree whose mother is the earth, my own true mother. You are my elder sister. You existed before me and you will exist after me. I declare before you that I am ready to be the wife of Kaveh the name player. Now we are husband and wife. Well, dear friends, they married. The day after the wedding night, Golpari showed the women of the village the stained handkerchief that proved her chastity so that their family would not be dishonored. Yes. 
Dog, who ever heard of a three witnessing a marriage? Go away from here and don't come back. Nobody's speaking to us. If your father finds out that I've spoken to you, that you have come here, he'll be so angry. Go away! She had seen how men and women worked. She built her house. 
with great
And it was this way that Habayn struck like lightning in Gulhari's life. He warmed her life, and then like lightning from the sky that quickly disappears, he left. Gulhari remained alone. For days and days she stayed in bed and thought. She couldn't work. When she went to the spring to get water, some of the women mocked and laughed at her. But do you know what the wise one said? Those who don't know the truth and how to reach it always laugh at anyone whose secrets they don't know. No one, no one was willing to, to uh, worry about this woman's loneliness. Alone, isolated, and unprotected. And later, one day, she looked at the sun. When the night fell, she looked at the moon. She looked at the mountain peaks. She looked at the spring and its flowing water. She looked at the trees. She looked at the animals that were kind and innocent. Suddenly, she knew that life was passing by.
love grow. There'll be no vegetation at all. Everywhere will be a desert. You must bear the cold and rain. But it's cold and cold. <laughs> Uh, Ladies, ma'am, please carry me to my club here full of rice and a black card. We are the true men of the loop. We are the
They say, let your house be full of enemies, but don't ever
Unfortunately, my father didn't believe in educating a daughter. Uh, I cannot read and I regret it very much. In all those years of loneliness, I always thought it would be nice if I could read books. Yeah. And sometimes I thought I would go to the church for a lesson. Yeah. But I thought she would not take me as a student. Uh, I was offered my services. You see, I learned a bit of reading, or rather, I just knew the alphabet. Afterwards, she forgave him. 
Some people are like that. They are forgiving. They forgive because they know that there's a force in people that sometimes cannot be controlled. They know that they must go, that they must roll, must experience. And they will come back. It is true that most, after a little adventure, they will always come back. And well, some of them never come back. They go and they never come back. I wish it wasn't a problem. Well, let's leave it. Let it be known that this too 